Hello, my dear students, in this fully animated lecture, you will learn about very important multiple choice questions of chapter 4, that is structure of molecules. Our first question is, the force of attraction between atoms, that holds them together in a substance, is called, option A is, gravitational force option B is, electromagnetic force option C is, chemical bond option D is, none of them, the correct option is chemical bond. For example, in hydrogen chloride, the force of attraction that holds hydrogen and chlorine atoms is known as chemical bond. Question number 2 is, atoms react with each other because, option A is, they are attracted to each other, option B is, they want to attain stability, option C is, they are short of electrons and option D is, they want to disperse, the correct option is, Atoms react with each other to attain stability. It is a universal rule, that everything in this world tends to become more stable. Atoms also tend to become stable by reacting, with other atoms. Question number 4 is, considering the electronic configuration of atoms, which atom with the given atomic number, will be the most stable? Option A is, 6 option B is, 10 option C is, 8 and option D is, 12, the correct option is 10, my dear students, the total number of protons is known as atomic number, for a neutral atom the number of protons are equal to the number of electrons, so the atom with 10 atomic number have 10 electrons, 2 in the first shell and 8 electrons in the valence shell, according to the octet rule, atoms have 8 electrons in the valence shell become stable, that's why atom with 10 atomic number will be stable. Question number 5 is, when an electronegative element, combines with an electropositive element, the type of bonding is, option A is, covalent option B is, ionic option C is, metallic option D is, coordinate covalent, the correct option is, ionic, for example, sodium is an electropositive element, containing positive charge, while chlorine is an electronegative element, and contains negative charge, when they react, the bond formed between these two elements is known as ionic bond. Question number 6 is, the bond formed, between two non-metals is expected to be, option A is, covalent bond, option B is, ionic bond, option C is, metallic bond, and option D is, coordinate covalent bond, the correct option is covalent bond, for example hydrogen contains one electron in its shell, and chlorine containing seven electrons in its valence shell, both atoms are non-metals, each atom shares one electron, and the bond formed, due to mutual sharing of electrons, is known as covalent bond. Question number 7 is, a bond pair in covalent molecules usually has electrons, option A is, 2 option B is, 4 option C is, 6 and option D is, 8, the correct option is, 2, a bond pair, in covalent molecules has 2 electrons. Question number 8 is, which of the following molecules contains triple covalent bond, option A is, H2 option B is, O2 option C is, C2H4 and option D is, N2, the N2, nitrogen gas contains triple covalent bond. Each nitrogen atom contains 5 electrons in its, valence shell, they require, 3 electrons to complete their octet. So each atom shares 3 electrons, thus 3 bond pairs are formed, and the bond is known as a triple covalent bond. Question number 9 is, which of the following compound, is not directional in its bonding, option A is, CH4 option B is, KBR option C is, CO and option D is, H2O the correct option is KBR potassium bromide, the non-directional nature of the bond in, KBR is because of its ionic bonding, where the attraction between the charged particles occurs in all directions, throughout the crystal lattice, that's why the bonding is non-directional. Question number 10 is, identify, which pair has a polar covalent bond, option A is, Cl2 and O2, option B is, N2 and H2O, option C is, C2H2 and H2O and option D is HCl and H2O, 
The correct option is HCl and H2O. Both have a polar covalent bond. Such type of bonds occur in heteroatoms that have different electronegativity.